Last week's lunchtime car show at Walter Murray Collegiate was full of the usual, muscle cars and revving engines, but Pat Burns brought a little truck that attracted a lot of attention too. It doesn't make much noise, but it might make a lot of difference. Burns converted the Japanese truck from gas to 100% electric. I don't believe that the uh, internal combustion engine as a practical form of transportation is, is going to be around forever. Electric vehicles aren't what you would call the answer, but there isn't a, an answer. I think you have to make incremental changes uh, towards uh, you know, a more sustainable option. These vehicles have the option of being powered by renewable energy. I mean, if you have solar energy and uh, um, wind energy and all the renewable sources, if, if they're in place in the future, it will supply power to this vehicle. You never have that option with an internal combustion engine. It only works off oil. Naturally, I asked Pat to take me for a ride. Now, electric vehicles don't need a transmission, so with one powerful gear, we accelerated smooth and fast. Whoa, nice acceleration. Yeah. So now I, my foot's off the accelerator and we're just coasting. And so then I just keep the speed up. I'll just give it a little bit of a touch the accelerator and then take my foot off again because there's no compression. The electric motor doesn't have compression like a regular internal combustion engine. And so then it just floats along. Just about two years been working on it. Uh, actual conversion, there was a lot of design time in, the, uh, in, in this one originally. So uh, a lot of sort of drawing board type work, but uh, there's this one and two others that I'm working on right at the moment, and the other ones are getting very close to being completed. So within a few weeks, I'll, their van will be ready to go. I was really uh, impressed with these garages in California that are doing car conversions to electric, and I didn't even know that was going on, so I investigated it, and uh, sure enough, uh, the technology's been out there, and I just didn't know anything about it. And so I thought, well, there must be a reason why it's not being done here. There's something must not work. So I uh, decided to try one and see what the problem was myself. And it turns out there wasn't any problems really. I, I had a lot of fear of, of the unknown before I started driving this thing. Like, you know, afraid I was going to run out of energy, you know, run out of charge halfway across town, all this kind of stuff. And uh, I quickly realized that that wasn't anything to really worry about. And then it was really the, the fear of, of, of something we just don't have any experience with, it turned out to, the fear was much worse than the reality. The reality is that this thing's, I find this much, much better to drive than my regular vehicle. Uh, I find that when I drive, switch back and drive my regular vehicle occasionally, I feel like I'm really tied to the gas pump. It's like the gas gauge is always empty. It's always taking $70 out of my wallet. And uh, it's noisy. <laughs> so how do, what, does it add anything to your hydro bills? Like what is the cost differential? Well, a full charge, uh, a, an absolute full charge costs me usually around a, a dollar fifty. Um, and that's for 130 kilometers worth of Well, uh, you would have to do the map, math properly, but it, it costs about two and a half cents a kilometer in energy, of, in electricity. So it depends on how far you drive. Like. Uh, my commute's very short these days, so I'm using very, very little energy. So my costs on input are extremely low. Anytime. Well, thanks to Pat for showing us his electric truck. Now, if you're wondering about the specs, uh, its top speed is 83 kilometers an hour, and its range is 130 kilometers. So that's how far it can go in a single charge. And as Pat says, that's more than he needs to get around Saskatoon in a day. In fact, for a few days. Look at the cargo space in this baby. This is great. Now, of course, this one actually isn't the one we looked at. This one's gas. It's right for conversion. It's actually for sale. <laughs> it's being sold by our neighbors here. This is Catch One Environmental Society. Um, what we're doing here, this is Saskatchewan Summer Road Trip, and the Saskatchewan Environmental Society is just encouraging people to consider transportation alternatives. You know, consider what they can do to get around that makes the least impact on the environment possible. Uh, and, you know, Pat Burns has obviously found something that works for him, and we can encourage you to consider the same. So thanks for watching and we'll see you down the line on the Saskatchewan summer road trip with Retire Your Ride.